If you've ever flown on a plane, you've probably wished it had its own parachute, just in case. Back in the late 1970s, a man named Boris Popoff was flying a hang glider when the wing came off. As the glider was going down, he too thought about a parachute. Fortunately, Popoff walked away from the crash and began to put his thoughts into action. And that was the beginning for a small company in St. Paul, Minnesota called Ballistic Recovery Systems, or BRS. An interesting beginning because Popoff got together with friends who were hang gliding fans to figure out how to put a parachute on a hang glider. None of them were engineers, but that may have been their advantage initially. They had no problem thinking outside the box. People just came up with different ideas and one thing led to another and they actually came up with something that worked. BRS eventually did hire engineers who developed the parachutes and began putting them on experimental aircraft. Then in 1998, the company received a Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, award from NASA Langley Research Center. Their plan was to develop a low-cost, lightweight aircraft emergency recovery system for the Small Aircraft Transportation Program, also known as SATS. Other companies had been trying to put a parachute on a general aviation aircraft, but the chutes kept coming apart. After studying the sailcloth and balloon industries, BRS figured out a way to make it work. Rather than trying to improve the bonding techniques, uh, we eliminated the bonding. And that's why we ended up doing sort of a continuous, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but we, when a parachute's made, you make it in sort of trapezoidal panels, and then you sew them together. In this case, we were, we were, people were trying to make use a reinforced end film and bond them together with an adhesive, and it just wasn't strong enough. So we kind of eliminated it, where we just, we'd just do some bonding, but then we'd do the, um, the reinforcement in a continuous pattern so that the bonding didn't matter. The company sold its first product in 1982 and had its first save in 1983. Since then, there have been many saves, but in October of 2002, a particular save made aviation history. It was the first time that a BRS parachute was deployed and saved a life on a certified GA aircraft. Although it was a milestone, BRS has a different view about the event. It was exciting for us, but it wasn't as exciting as save number 100 and save number 151. These are all very exciting to us. Every day when people call us up, when we have a save, and they say, look, you just saved my life this weekend. This is an incredible feeling for us as a company. Because of their success, the company has gone through some important changes. When Mark Thomas arrived in 1992, there were 13 employees on the production floor. Now there are eight, and they're doing five times the volume and they're doing things smarter, cross-training, better equipment. BRS is publicly owned. The employees take pride in what they do because they know they're contributing to something important, possibly saving a life. Everybody wants to be the next guy who worked on the parachute that just saved somebody. BRS has now set its sights on larger aircraft. With their current SBIR funding, they are developing a larger parachute that can also be maneuvered once it's deployed. What we have to do is we're trying to put a microprocessor on a device that will control this, that will sense what the loads on the parachute are and therefore how fast it's going. And we'll say, well, gee, it's not going that fast. Let's get it to open really quick. Or they, hey, you know, we're going too fast. If we open too quick here, it's going to blow this up. Most of the aircraft flying today do not have parachute systems on board, and that means plenty of opportunity for the company. Good for a company that still thinks outside of the box. The overall goal is fairly straightforward. We're trying to make this safer. We're trying to help people survive potentially fatal accidents. I don't know where we're going to stop, and that's the beautiful thing about what we've got here at BRS. 